Welcome to Friday Morning Prayer. My name is Andrew Eaton here at St Luke's Walls End and chaplain to the University of Newcastle. And I'm praying on Awabakal land and with the St Luke's community and the cathedral community pay respects to elders past, present and emerging and commit our souls to the journey towards reconciliation. In today's uh, calendar, we uh, give thanks for uh, Irenaeus, Bishop of Lyon and teacher of the faith. Uh, Irenaeus, as a boy, had heard Polycarp preach, who had in turn been a disciple of the Apostle John. Irenaeus is thus one of the important connections between the Apostolic Church and the second century. He studied at Rome, became a priest at Lyon in Gaul, succeeding as bishop upon the martyrdom of his predecessor in 177 AD. He contended against the mythological and historical beliefs of the Gnostics, giving positive value to the full humanity of the incarnate Christ. And he affirmed the teaching role of the Episcopate to combat false doctrine. He is honoured as the first great Catholic theologian, one who drew up, drew upon the emerging traditions of East and West. He died in about the year 200. Our psalm this morning, psalms this morning are 143 and 146. And we begin our service on page 413 of the prayer book. Through Christ, let us offer up a sacrifice of praise to God the fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We have complete freedom to go into the most holy place by means of the death of Jesus. He opened for us a new way, a living way, through the curtain, through his own body. Since we have a great high priest set over the household of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart and a sure faith, with hearts that have been made clean from a guilty conscience and bodies washed with pure water. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalms 143 and 146. Hear my prayer, O Lord. In your faithfulness consider my petition, and in your righteousness give me answer. Bring not your servant into judgment, for in your sight can no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, they have crushed my life to the ground. They have made me dwell in darkness, like those forever dead. Therefore my spirit grows faint, and my heart is appalled within me. I remember the days of old. I think on all that you have done. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands toward you. My soul yearns for you like a thirsty land. Be swift to hear me, O Lord, for my spirit fails. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. O let me hear of your merciful kindness in the morning, for my trust is in you. Show me the way that I should go, for you are my hope. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for I run to you for shelter. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me in an even path. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. And for the sake of your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. In your merciful goodness, slay my enemies and destroy all those that come against me. For truly I am your servant. Psalm 146. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. While I have any being, I will sing praises to my God. Put not your trust in princes, nor in flesh and blood which cannot save. For when their breath goes from them, they return again to the earth. 
and on that day all their thoughts perish. Blessed are those whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God, the God who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who deals justice to those that are oppressed. The Lord gives food to the hungry and sets the captive free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those that are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord cares for the stranger in the land. He upholds the widow and the fatherless. As for the way of the wicked, he turns it upside down. The Lord shall be king forever. Your God, O Zion, shall reign through all generations. Praise the Lord. Holy God, through your beloved Son, you reconciled all things to yourself, making peace by the blood of his cross. Fill us and those for whom we pray with your peace and joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Reading from the letter of James, chapter 4. Those conflicts and disputes among you, where do they come from? Do they, not, do they not come from your cravings that are at war within you? You want something and do not have it, so you commit murder. And you covet something and cannot attain it, so you engage in disputes and conflicts. You do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly, in order to spend what you get on your pleasures. Adulterers, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Or do you suppose that it is for nothing that the scripture says, God yearns jealously for the spirit that he has made to dwell in us, but he gives all the more grace. Therefore, it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy into dejection. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. Do not speak evil against one another, brothers and sisters. Whoever speaks evil against another or judges another speaks evil against the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver and judge who is able to save and destroy. So who then are you to judge your neighbour? Come now, you who say today or tomorrow we will go to such and such a town and spend a year there doing business and making money. Yet you do not even know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord wishes, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogance. And such boasting is evil. And then who knows the right thing to do and fails to do it? commit sin. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. We say the canticle together. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our saviour and mighty deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. 
Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, who gave to your servant Irenaeus of Lyon special gifts of grace to understand and teach the truth in Christ Jesus, grant that enlightened by this teaching we may know you, the one true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the world, the church, for one another. Pray especially for God's grace to fill his church with a spirit of peace, a spirit of hope, a spirit of love, a spirit of unity. We give thanks for and pray for the first peoples of the diocese, especially the Iwabakal, Birapai, Darkinyan, Gabagal, Kamilaroi, Waramai and Wanarua peoples. We give thanks for and pray for our Bishop, Bishop Peter and Nikki, Bishop Sonia and Charlie, and all those are charged with the good order and running of our diocesan synod tomorrow. We pray for all synod representatives, clergy and lay. We pray for all other invited guests attending, for the staff of the venue we shall meet in. We pray that in a spirit of truth and grace, we may uh, address all the needs of our synod, all the needs of our diocese, with love and humility. We pray for the Professional Standards Committee and the Director of Professional Standards, Cathy Rose, for the Scottish, Scottish Episcopal Church, the Church Missionary Society, for Anglican Care and our chaplains, Andrew Harrison and Yoshika, Jenny Foley, Melanie Wally. We give thanks for all our retired clergy. Pray for hospitals and medical centres in the communities in which we live, and especially the challenges they are facing with the renewed spread of influenza A and COVID. In the spirit of Irenaeus of Lyon, in the spirit of learning and seeking the truth, we pray for ourselves and our own faith communities. We pray that our hearts may be open to learning more about God, correcting us when we are in error, encouraging us when we get even a glimpse of the truth. We pray for peace this day and for the Spirit to be with us in every encounter and engagement with God's people in the world. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace be to us all in love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.